to confess well, we have to know who we're talking to. How we picture God will impact how we approach God. Now, I want you to do something for me. I want you to press pause here in a minute. I want you to list down what comes to mind when you think of the God that we're talking about going to in confession. So press pause and make your list. Now, I don't know what showed up on your list, but you can maybe think about two different poles, maybe God the loving father and God the angry judge. Now, the Bible says that God is judge, and the Bible does say that God is father. And how we think about how those two things go together will impact how we approach God as we confess to him. See, I'm a dad. <laughs> I'm not a dad exactly like God at all. But I'm a dad, and I got three kids who I want to be able to come to me when they mess up. And if I am always just angry and flying off the handle, I actually inhibit them wanting to come to me when they mess up. I keep them away. And yet, I have a responsibility to correct them and to discipline them when they go off in a direction that they shouldn't. But one of my main goals is to create an environment where they feel like they can come to me when they mess up. And I think that that is a lot like what God wants for you. God does have the responsibility to judge and discipline. And he loves you like crazy. He is a kind of father that wants to be approachable. Let me read you a few verses that confirm that I think I'm right about this. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. The Bible in another place says this. It says, then let us approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Of course, God is judge. And of course, sin grieves and angers God. But God has committed himself to forgive sin when we confess it to him. One author said that God is ruthlessly compassionate. And in another place in the Book of Common Prayer, they refer to God as the one whose property is always to have mercy. That is the God to whom I'm suggesting and the church has suggested for millennia that you go to in confession. Not the God that is just exclusively angry and disappointed and disgruntled, but the God who is the loving Father that will hear your sin and rush towards you with his ruthless compassion. So my hope for you is that you would do exactly what that verse in Hebrew said, that you would approach God's throne of grace with confidence, and that you would find there mercy and grace and help in your time of need. So let's do that right now together. Will you pray with me? God, we have fallen short in so many ways, but right now we want to confess first that you are the God who has offered to forgive those who come to him confessing sin. You are a God who is gracious and merciful. You are a God who is faithful and just and forgiving. So today, Lord, we confess that about you. You are that kind of God, and that is why we can come to you in confession. We give you thanks in Jesus' name for being who you are. Amen. Thanks again for being with us. We'll pick up this practice again tomorrow.